All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Sam Fender here, song called All Right. And um, as soon as Sam releases something new, it's always interesting. And this one, it's a great song, has his style all over it. So let's dive into a song called All Right. We have a capo here on the fifth fret to match up sound and we have six different chords to handle here so let's go over the chords first this one this first one will be a sharp and uh, i will actually play a sharp uh, sus chord it's easier and it sounds great in this song as well so you need to put your bar here on the first fret from the a string and down so five strings from bottom up and the rest will be third on D and third on G. Next chord will be A minor. So that is open A, second D, second G, first B and open E. We have D minor next. So that is open D, second G, third B and first E. F, that's a bar here on the first fret again, this time all strings, and the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. We move up two frets towards U, and we land here on the G minor 7, so a bar here on the third fret, all strings again, and the rest will be just the fifth on A. That's the G minor 7. And the final chord will be C. Right, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. Yeah, there we have it. All right, so let's look at the strumming first. It's, it will be one um, strumming pattern that will work for this song, almost through the entire song, except from some par parts and the ending. But otherwise, it's the strum we'll learn now. And it's divided into two different parts. Okay, we can look at uh, the full strumming here with an A sharp. That is the first chord of the song. So one round of the strumming will sound like this. Okay, so the first part is simply just two downs. So. The next part will be up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it's up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it's up, up, down, and then a short, short, short break, and then down, up, down, up. these two parts it will be down down up up down down up down up okay and that is one round now we will go into the song here and we will start with an intro and uh, this intro will start with the a sharp it will play part one so that means down down and then you will switch to A minor and play part two. And uh, big parts of the song uh, has this thinking here. You have to think as pair of chords. So two pair, two chords will pair up with each other and build one strumming together. So this is how, how it goes. Uh, so it starts like that. So again, A sharp, part one, A minor, part two. Then comes D minor, part one, down, down, and F, part two. And then comes C, just two downs. So that means, again, part one. And D minor, one down only. C, one down only. And then 
A sharp one full strumming pattern. So that means part one and part two. So that is a big long chord progression there for an intro. And you will play that for two rounds. So again, we will repeat this. A sharp part one, A minor part two, D minor part one, F part two. Then C part one, and then comes this D minor one down, C one down, and A sharp one full strumming round. Let's go over this slower than normal just to be very clear of what we're doing here. So let's start with A sharp part one. for two rounds, so A sharp, A minor, D minor, F, C, D minor, C, A sharp, one full. Yeah, and then starts the actual song here, and you will continue this way of playing. The first verse here will be in the same way. So A sharp, A minor, part two, D minor, part one, F part two, C part one, D minor, C, A sharp, one full. So that chord progression from the verse and from the intro, you will play for another four rounds in the verse, and that will be the first verse. All right, that takes us to the chorus part. In the lyrics, we're all right, we're all right. And you will play C part one, then D minor part two, and then A sharp one full strumming around. And you will repeat the start there, C part one, then comes this D minor, just one down, C, just one down, and the G minor seven, two full strum rounds. So two full strum rounds in the end there. And that is the whole chorus there. So just repeat C part one, D minor part two, A sharp one full strum round. And then again, C part one, then comes D minor, just one down, C, just one down, and you end with G minor seven, two full strumming rounds. I'm gonna take you through this slower than normal, just to be clear here, so let's go. that and that is your chorus. Right after this chorus comes an instrumental part and it will be the same as intro or the verse play. It's the same chord version, the same way of playing for one round. Let's start the second verse, okay? And that one will be played in the same way as the first one, so nothing new there. And the same goes with the second chorus that comes right after played in the same way as the chorus we just looked at now. C part one, D one part two, A sharp, one full round, C part one, D minor one down, C one down, and G minor seven. Two full rounds. So that's the chorus. And after this comes an instrumental part again. It will be for two rounds in the same way as the intro, in the same chord progression playing. And after this instrumental part comes a long, long outro part. We're all right, we're all right. It's time to put this verb to rights. That's where we are in the lyrics. Here, it's just downs, okay? And it's pretty fast. And it will play in the same way through entire outro. It will be 12 rounds of A sharp, eight downs, then C, four downs, and D minor, four downs. Something like this. So on. 
down, so eight downs on A sharp, four downs on C, and four downs on D minor. That chord progression, uh, maybe it was played a little bit faster than the original tempo, I'm not sure there. You will listen and see. Play that chord progression for 12 rounds, and you are set with this song here from Sam Fender called All Right. So, hope you enjoy it. Great song to learn, and if you love Sam Fender, this is really like his kind of songs and um, yeah, good luck and play tuned.